It is Wednesday, July 8th, 2020, and it's 1028 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to read Psalms 15, 16, and 17. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 15, a psalm of David. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly, and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the true in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is condemned, but he honoreth him them that fear the Lord, he that sweareth to his own hurt, and changeth not. He that putteth not out putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter 16. Mictum of David. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the, and to the excellent in whom all my delight, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied. That hasten, that hasten after another god, their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places, yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel, my reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope, for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life, in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17, a prayer of David. Hear the right, O Lord, attend unto my cry. Give ear unto my prayer that goeth not out of feigned lips. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence. Let thine eyes behold the things that are equal. Thou hast proved mine heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me and shalt find nothing. I am purpose that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning thy works of men, concerning the works of men, by the word of thy lips I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me. O God, incline thine ear unto me, and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest, that saveth by thy right hand them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the uh, as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings, from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who compass me not. They are enclosed in my, in their own fat. With their mouth they speak proudly. They have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth, like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked one, which is thy sword. From men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with, with thy hid treasure, they are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in, face in righteousness, I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Thank you, Jesus.